Independence, peace. Church, gym, chosen one. Invasion. Yo, man. All I wanted to do today on a Monday is to be in the presence of greatness. And the Lord Jesus Christ made it happen. I feel good. I feel like 25% of his greatness just came in. And I'm about to take over the world. I'm about to move mountains. Uh. Church Street Gym. I love going into old school boxing gyms because that spirit's in here. Everybody in here grinding, getting in work. It's sweat from legends in here. I look on the wall. I see all the people that I look up to. Roy Jones Jr., Mike Tyson, Michael Moyer, Miguel Cotto. All these people have probably been in the gym. The canvas probably has many, many blood spots. You know why we in. Here to receive the pain. And then we're gonna take the pain. And we're gonna turn it into greatness. One time. Ah, ah, ah. Church Street Gym, homie Hollywood Hino. Make sure you guys go check him out on Snapchat. I'm pretty sure my man can link something below somewhere. And uh, that's what's up. Champ Camp, back at you. Ah! Bang. <laughs> this is the man right here. Day one of Champ Camp, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm being honest, this is the proper way to start any Champ Camp. In studio, greatest show, MMA hour. Mm. Wow, I really appreciate it. Oh, no it means a lot. Hey, I was tired and sluggish today, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I grabbed some, some coffee. Right. And we took some motivation from the boxing coach. If you want to go in this direction, yeah, the reason why race is an issue in our in our freaking society right now is because people want to swoop it underneath the rug. Yeah. The shit happens. Yeah. It's happening now. Yeah. Like, That's why I feel the way I feel. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Ah, read, 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 and then you dip. When you find this hole, well, watch out, watch out how much faster he is than all the other kids.
Good luck, baby. Try not to move, try not to break, uh, break eye contact, but then his cheeks start jumping. Ooh, you said, and, and you know that's the. I say you in for some hurt, brother. Now we're heading to a couple more deals, get a workout in. And still, welterweight champion of the world. Nothing gets better than this. Anybody who's a Muhammad Ali fan or a boxing fan, like it didn't get put into perspective until I walked into this building, see the posters of one of my idols, Muhammad Ali, the way that you know he carried himself, the way that he made people watch this sport. Not only because of the way he boxed and the way he spoke and the way he talked in the fight, but what he stood for. You know? Until you get in here and you really feel, you feel that history, you see the posters, you see a ticket stub, you see magazines, fight card, like this is probably their actual pro, their program at that point. You know, it's actually typed out, somebody used a typewriter for that. Man, this is the real deal. Like, he's gonna be, he better be ready to die because I'm ready to kill. He's, he's not coming away with the victory, I'm not losing my belt. I'm not losing to him. Not here, not now, not never. So, you better be ready for war. I'm ready to wage war. My, uh, my striking coach, Duke Roof, has told me to watch Joe Frazier versus Muhammad Ali one. I apologize, coach, I haven't had a chance to fully watch it yet. But as I sit here, this is a reminder of all these things. Nothing happens for coincidence. This one says the slugger versus the boxer. The mixed martial artist versus the karate kid. You know, and we know what happened in the first fight. So I look to repeat history. November 12, 2016, in the Big Apple NYC, Madison Square Garden, the chosen one who shake the world once again.